Hey everyone, Donald for Talking About Podcast. Here with a quick video cast um, about Japanese language support in Windows. Um, in the video cast I did about installing Canon on Windows, I complained about weird characters showing up instead of Japanese. You remember. Now, even though you've installed um, Asian language support, you'll still see really weird characters here instead of Japanese. I'm not really sure why that is, but, well, uh, as it turns out, this is because um, the steps that I showed weren't the entire steps that you needed to do in order to properly enable Japanese language support. Briefly, what I said to do was to go into your control panel, into your regional and language panel on the languages tab and click this button for East Asian languages. As it turns out, it's not all that you need to do. I found this out while attempting to play with Komipo, which I blogged about recently. As you can see, it doesn't work. And as you can see here, um, this really crazy looking text instead of Japanese. Well, what it turns out is that it's because it's trying to write file names using Japanese characters, and because the Japanese language support isn't completely installed, um, these file names aren't being written out properly, so you're getting actually duplicate files. So here is how to properly install Japanese language support. So again, go to uh, Start Menu Control Panels, Regional and Language Settings, and like, like before, go to the Language tab and click this Install Files for East Asian Languages. But you also have to go here to the Advanced tab, and here, Languages in Non-Unicode Programs. So we click on this and scroll down to Japanese, and you have to click this all, Apply All Settings box. Yes, we do want to do this, so click that and click OK. Now, since we've already installed Japanese language support, the files are already on our computer, so we can just use the files that are already there. So click yes, and unfortunately, it'll need to, need to uh, restart your computer, so let it. Okay, we're back. And by the way, in case you were wor worried that the, that setting would cause your Windows, normal Windows dialogs to appear all in Japanese, uh, don't worry about that, as you can see, the Windows interface is still in English. English menus, English dialogues, so no, no worries. But now if we try to run the Komipo installer, as, there you go. Everything is properly displayed with Japanese characters and everything. So there you have it, how to properly enable Japanese language support in Windows. Um, now, Komipo is a cool program. It basically lets you create manga using 3D um, character models and, and backgrounds and stuff so that you can create a manga even if you can't draw a single um, thing, like I can't. Um, I may or may not do a full episode on it. Um, there are already some great um, uh, video casts about it. Uh, I believe uh, Patrick Macias and Yu Asakawa did a segment on it in their uh, uh, Otaku vs. Zero show, which I'll link to in the show notes here. Um, but maybe I will do a Komipo um, demo when I figure out more about how to use it. So, but for today's purposes of showing you how to properly install uh, Japanese language support, we're done. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Donald from Talking About Podcast. See you next time. Sayonara. Johnny.